Revegetation is an important tool for repairing and restoring damaged and degraded ecosystems and plantings range in complexity from highly structured wildlife corridors to relatively simple shelter belts for livestock. So it's important to get it right. But the practice of revegetation is facing many challenges, particularly from climate change. We know that a changing climate will, over time, alter existing communities or groupings of plants that occur together. In the coming decades, these communities will reassemble and rearrange depending on how the different species respond to the changing climate. So some species and populations will be in trouble in their current locations as the climate becomes progressively unsuitable for their growth and reproduction. Climate Ready Reveg Guide is a step-by-step -step guide to using existing climate information from publicly available websites and other sources to help plan for sustainable restoration or revegetation activities in the context of a rapidly changing climate. The guide has three main steps. The first one provides information on the possible future climate at the planting site. A number of websites are available from CSIRO and the Bureau of Meteorology that provide climate projections. In some cases, these projections are provided at the level of a state or territory. In other cases, more regional projections are available, so they're projections at a finer spatial resolution. Instructions on how to access this detailed information are included in the guide. So the second step provides information on how to assess the current and future suitability of plant species being considered for a revegetation project. And it provides information on how to obtain a general understanding of the climate tolerance of the species. In turn, this will provide an indication of whether future climate change at the planting site could put the species at or beyond its limits of climate tolerance. Step-by-step -step instructions are provided on how to use the Atlas of Living Australia to obtain this information. Step three is about seed sourcing for revegetation, and decisions about where to source seed should be made and should be guided by the principles of maximising genetic diversity and adaptive capacity. So it looks at the different provenance strategies that would be able to help make these decisions. For example, a strategy to include seed from locations that are already experiencing the climate projected for your planting site is recommended. Revegetation under climate change is a really complex subject. So to get a copy of the guide for these step-by-step -step instructions on how to plan for a sustainable future, go to either of these links.